Yeah, sure. So the idea of what I want to talk about is that there's many different approaches to code email, um, how to reach people. You know, I see a lot with humor that works out well, and there's just different approaches. And the approach that I've found most comfortably, or at least consistently, there's this um, concept that I learned from Dean Jackson. He's like one of the godfathers of, of internet who, who's not a real guru in the front end. Like you don't see him in a lot of events, but in the back end, almost all the gurus follow his stuff. But <clears throat> I heard this perspective, this concept from him uh, about a year or two ago about um, all cheese and no whiskers was the concept of how to approach people, how to reach an audience, get their attention, get them to respond without any, I don't know, flags or concerns. And the basic idea was that if you're in sales or in marketing and you're trying to reach your customer, the idea was that imagine that you are a cat and your audience is a mouse. And, which, you know, and so in order to get a mouse, you use cheese. Because one thing about cheese is that a mouse doesn't think about cheese. You know, there's no decision making faculty. It's not gonna pro, you know, think about the pros and the cons about cheese. No, when you put cheese in front of a mouse, its body just automatically responds and goes after it. But the issue is that if you show your whiskers, <laughs> and you're a cat, right? If, it's, if it notices those whiskers hanging around the side of the room, it's gonna, the flag, a flag's gonna turn on, say, wait a minute, it might be a trap. And so this approach to email or communication to any client, it's about how can you put in front of them the very core desire that they want, but in that approach, you don't show your whiskers. You don't give any flags that you've got some hidden agenda, that you're trying to get something from them. Um, how do you communicate in that style? And when I heard that method, you know, it made perfect sense. And so I began to imagine what could that look like um, to various different industries. And I've, I've tried it out in about, I don't know, eight, nine different industries, and it, it works pretty well. So that is the way I begin to structure any type of code email, copy, content, everything is all about all cheese, all benefit, 100% benefit without any sign that I'm, I've got some hidden agenda. All right, that's, that does sound like it's uh, an email that I would want to open. If it's all about the cheese, like whatever, you know, that thing is that I really want, I don't need to make a decision on, that's going to be a really interesting email that I, I do want to read. So how do we, I mean, how do we structure this? How do we set it up? Uh, where do we start? Yeah, so again, it really, whenever when I work with a client, the main thing is, you know, figuring out their business, you know, figuring out what they're trying to offer, what pain they're trying to relieve from their prospect. Um, again, think about the, the prospect's business. What does the business run on? Because you know, the goal is that your service is going to solve a problem. It's going to meet a need that they have. And so everybody's different. So it could be as simple as, like, I, I do a lot of campaigns in, in, in real estate. You know, real estate agents, what they want. They want customers. And so it's like, how do I think about a realtor who wants, has a listing, who has, um, you know, they're trying to sell a house. So, but again, the idea is not to be too tricky you know I, I don't want to lie I'm not going to deceive them but I want to ask a question that's related so I may just send a realtor a, a, a question because a lot of real estate agents only work for a couple of years it's a, it's a pretty interesting industry that people come and go they think it's easy they think you can make a bunch of money real quick and so my email might say something like hey are you still licensed in uh, Arizona because I can't sell them my product unless they're still in business so I might approach it as simple as that are you still licensed are you still in, in the business of real estate? And their response is, oh, I didn't say I'm trying to, you know, they, their response is, oh, wow, this person wants a house. And so that's going to get that initial engagement. And that's what I want first. I want that. that that's why I get, I get high opens and high replies because I want that first engagement. I want to know that they're willing to have the conversation. And that's kind of how I do that.